Good morning. <clears throat> My name is Bill Miller, and I'll be your instructor for Chem 2000. I wanted to give you a, a run through of what's going to be required for week number one. I'm starting on the landing page for Blackboard, which is the announcements page. Uh, you should be able to see that I've got a couple of announcements there already. And uh, there's my uh, favorite quote, chemistry is hard enough when you get all your questions answered. It is infinitely harder when you don't, so please ask questions. Now, this is an online class, so no required face-to-face -face or and, uh, meetings. Also, this is an asynchronous class, so there are no requirements for even online meetings for classes. So how are we going to do this class? Well, there's going to be a lot of information here. Uh, I'm going to maintain contact with you uh, at least weekly through uh, videos and announcements, sometimes more often. And then I'm going to be grading your work and giving you feedback about it. And, um, and you're going to be asking questions via my office hours, which uh, let's go to the Start Here page, via, uh, which shows my office hours. I have five office hours, and they are listed right here. Um, in addition to my contact information, the office hours uh, start tonight from 7 to 8.45 p.m. And I am there that entire time. So you do not need to make an appointment. Just show up, ask your questions, and uh, get help. So uh, office hours is a great way to get help and get your questions answered quickly. If you cannot make my office hours and you have a question, please email me. And please scan in your work or take a picture of it and send it to me. Uh, PDFs, so using the, so there's a large emphasis in this course on using PDFs uh, and making them using the scan, what's it, Adobe Scan and or Cam Scanner apps. Although if you know another one, that's fine. Um, because they uh, keep the file size down when you email it or post it. So that makes it quicker for you and for me. Um, and for PDFs, when you submit them in Blackboard, I can actually mark them up, make check marks, make uh, comments about exactly what uh, needs to be corrected on the page so that you can see what needs. Uh, anyway, so that's PDFs. Um, and But email me a PDF, and I will look at it and comment. Um, I don't know if I can comment on the PDFs that you email me, but I know I can in Blackboard. Uh, here's the required textbook. Go ahead and go to that link. You'll be able to find it. And uh, that link includes all the chapters that we're going to be covering this semester. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll see a lot of information about how this course runs. We're going to go to the course content section next. And for course content, it will you'll see that we have a weekly breakdown of what you need to do. And in week number one, we're going to do Introduction to Chemical Calculations and the Periodic Table. You'll also see I have a scientist highlighted from each week. And Devin Swiner from week one is from Upper Marlboro, right in our area, and which also happens to be the town that I live in. Now, suggested workflow. First, complete the lecture outlines. Um, that's what LO stands for. And let's scroll down to the lecture outline so I can show you what you're up against here. So um, you'll see for lecture outline one, there's a handout. You need to download that handout, print it out, or somehow take notes on a tablet on it. If you cannot do that, then you just have to write out everything that's on the lecture outline handouts and then also write the notes. But if you've got access to a printer, um, then please print them out, write your notes on it, then you're going to submit those as a PDF. Um, here's all the topics, by the way, and here's a lot of videos for you to watch. And there's mostly smaller videos, but it is a lot. And you're going to watch them, take the notes down on the page, and turn them in as PDF, as one PDF for each uh, lecture outline. This one's 46 pages, as you can see, so two PDFs would be fine as well. Um, then you have lecture outline two, which is much shorter, uh, but all told, you have a lot of videos to watch this week. Now, what we've said is that since this is a four unit class, you have three hours of lecture, three hours of lab, and one hour of recitation. That's seven hours of class time, and 10 or so hours of 
out of class time, which includes homeworks, writing up lab reports, studying for exams, um, uh, studying your lecture notes uh, to make sure that so that you can do the homework. Um, and what you'll see for week number one is that for week number one, there's um, a, there's a introduction to the lab, uh, small assignments, but it's pretty quick. There's no recitation and there's no real lab. So I have taken all that time for you to do more lecture outlines. So it won't be this much each week. Um, and I, you should know that I do take your time very seriously. So hopefully what you will find is that all of the assignments are helping you to learn the material. I've come up with all these assignments myself too, by the way. Um, and let's see. Oh, let's show you the homework. And as far as the homework goes, you'll see that in week number one, there are, scrolling all the way down, 19 problems. And some of them are short and some of them are longer. Uh, the first one, uh, homework 01-01 says draw the phases of matter. FIL means it's a file upload problem. Uh, so the drawing the phases of matter is straight out of the lecture outlines. Uh, so, but you're gonna draw them on your page. You're gonna turn it into a PDF using Adobe Scanner, Cam Scanner or something similar. And then you're gonna upload that work so that I can actually grade it and see what you've drawn. Um, I don't know what that R, oh, R is for revised from previous semesters. <laughs> uh, lots of little codes here. Uh, number two is about temperature and IMF, that's intermolecular forces, another thing that's covered in the lecture outline. It's a multiple choice question. The third one is FIB, uh, fill in the blank. And then we get to our first numerical answer, that's what NUM stands for. You'll be answering a number. This is also the first one that has a tutorial video associated with it, and I will double check today to make sure that all these videos actually work. Uh, from semester to semester, uh, some of them get lost, but I will double check that and update it if it doesn't. Now the asterisk means that you're gonna show your work on a page as you do to solve the problem, and that you have to uh, upload that as a PDF for more points. So each of these homework questions is worth usually between 0 0.25, 0 0.5, all the way up to one or two points per question. And uh, let's see, so here's another numerical answer about density and using the displacement method. It's an asterisk, so you have to show your work and you enter a numerical answer and it has a tutorial video. Going all the way down here, you'll see that the last part of homework one is a PDF of your work and it tells you exactly which problems you have to show me work for. I will be, and again, one PDF. Uh, you can do all of your work. You should be able to note which problem is which so I can find them. And if it's easier, you can just upload your work for all of homework one. And as long as it's labeled with which problem is which, I will find it and make sure you get your credit. Let's see, uh, other things about the homework. Each homework question, you get four attempts. You only have to get one of them correct. Uh, if you do the first one, great, you're done. Do the second one, or well, so it'll show you the answer to the first one, so you can see approximately uh, how it was done, um, and hopefully get the second one right. If you get to the third one and you still haven't got it right, that's the time to send me an email or come to office hours to get some help. And um, other things you can do is after you get it right, say you want to practice before the exam, you can come back and practice these questions again all the way up until four attempts. Uh, plus you can see your other attempts if I'm correct here, so you can re-practice those as well. Lecture outlines and homework, that's most of what you have to do this week and it does take a significant amount of time. Please go ahead and get started as soon as today if you can. Yes, so, and I'm happy to have you in class, and I hope to hear from you soon.